Okay, this is a video to show you how to add in a new blank uh, shapefile to uh, Quantum GIS. So, fire up QGIS, and then you need to go into Layers, New, and choose your format. Now, we're going to use Shapefile because it's one most people are uh, aware of or comfortable with. It's a format that's been around for a long time. It's not necessarily a format that I uh, greatly admire. Um, spatial light uh, is a, another easy transportable uh, spatial file format, uh, which is potentially is better in a number of different ways. But we will use shapefile. And so you click on shapefile, a dialog box comes up. Now initially it's asking you what kind of um, shapefile you want it to be. Do you want it to be point, line or polygon? Now for us, we're interested in it being Polygon. File encoding system is fine. Special life is CRS, the Coordinate Reference System. What projection do you want it to be in? Now it's initially saying it wants to be in World Geodetic System 84, um, which is um, general that long type framework on projected things that your GPS will use. Uh, we actually want to enter the OSGB 1936 uh, British National Grid EPSG 27700. Okay, and now we can start to add attributes into this data set if we so desire. At the minute, we don't. So we'll just click on OK. It then asks us where we would like to save this data, and at the minute, we're going to go put it into our Dropbox Tizo video location and we will call this Tizo Polygon. Okay, we'll call Tizo Polygon.shp for that is the um, extension for shapefiles. Okay, and we click on save and there we are. We now have Tizo Polygon added. If you notice down here, it says that our coordinate reference system is OSGB 1936. And we can also enable on the fly coordinate reference system transformation. Uh, and essentially that means that whenever a new data set is added, uh, then it's reprojected on the fly. That is a good thing. Um, the more you start to deal with GIS, the more you will find out that projections and projection systems um, can become annoying. Okay, thank you very much indeed.